attention. U.S. President Joe Biden signed an executive order banning certain U.S. investments in sensitive technology in China on Wednesday, a move that risks fueling tensions between the world's two largest economies after the White House has tried to stabilize ties with Beijing. The investment ban focuses on semiconductors, quantum tech and artificial intelligence, areas where the U.S., Japan and the Netherlands have dominated and where China has worked to develop homegrown alternatives. The order aims to stem the flow of U.S. capital to tech like that, which could also boost China's military modernization. Biden sent a letter to Congress declaring a national emergency over the issue and hours earlier spoke to an audience in New Mexico emphasizing domestic investment. We're continuing to make progress in fixing the supply chain. For example, we couldn't access semiconductors during the pandemic because the factories making them overseas were shut down. You all know semiconductors are those little small computer chips about the size of any of your fingertip that affect nearly everything in our lives. It may take many months before Biden's order comes into effect, possibly not enacted until well into 2024, a presidential election year. The White House said Biden consulted allies on the plan and incorporated feedback from Group of Seven Nations. The administration also said the controls will apply to narrow subsets of the three areas and they will not be retroactive. The Treasury issued an advance notice on the rules, saying some deals would be banned once the regulations kick in, and investors must notify the government of their plans on others. The restrictions will also apply to Hong Kong and Macau, both separate customs territories from China. China on Thursday said it is gravely concerned about the order. A Commerce Ministry statement criticized Washington of, quote, artificially hindering global economic and trade exchanges and cooperation or set up obstacles for the recovery of the world economy. The Chinese Foreign Ministry said it lodged solemn representations with the U.S. It said the country was strongly dissatisfied with and resolutely opposes the U.S.'s insistence on introducing investment restrictions on China.